Okay, we're going to try this again. If you were on the live video uh, just a few seconds ago, I guess it literally like pulled like the last sentence that I stated um, on the video. And, um, and so we're going to redo it real fast and hopefully this one will take. Hopefully our Wi-Fi is a little bit stronger. I'm out here on my front porch so you're going to hear some crickets. And I'm out here with my oldest daughter, JC. JC, say hi. Hi. And so what we're doing is talking about um, daily affirmations. And this is really kind of a spin off, um, kind of a question that I got yesterday in the group that basically said, you know, um, how do you know diagnostics is working? And really what that led to was that, you know, do you have days that you don't feel good um, on diagnostics and again that kind of goes back to the idea that diagnostics is a destination and diagnostics is not a destination it is an investigation and so you're still going to have days where um, you don't feel 100% um, and that was me today so I I did a six and a half mile ruck with my husband on Tuesday morning early and I've had some intense workouts this week and my body's still much in the very premature stages of of um, recovering from everything that I did to it for a very long period of time and so um, I didn't then on top of that I didn't get very good sleep and then there's just been a little bit of extra stress just just extra in the in the form of just already what I already have responsibilities for so um, so it's been just a little bit extra this week and today I felt like a low energy kind of way I felt all the time before I ever got on diagnostics and um, the difference is is that now that I know what it feels like to feel amazing um, it is almost kind of worse on the days that I feel fatigued because um, and it takes a lot for me mentally to push through it and so that's where daily affirmations come in for me although I do daily affirmations and mantras every single day um, and you know in our family we teach our kids um, daily affirmations and then Jeff works with young athletes at the gym and he spends a lot of time on mental toughness and mindset and so anyways uh, JC was out here and we were practicing her daily affirmations school's about to start and you know nervous situations or she's about to encounter and so we were just going over her daily affirmations and um, anyways so JC you want to you want to do your daily affirmations okay you're gonna start with number one I will not doubt myself I will not doubt myself. Number two? I will live with no excuses. I will live with no excuses. <laughs> Number three? I will take full responsibility for my progress and success. I will take full responsibility for my progress and success. Number four? Um, I will live with no ex excuses. I will live with no excuses. Number five? I will keep a positive mindset. I will keep a positive mindset. Next one? Mm. Can I just do the next one? Yep. Um, I will succeed. I will succeed. Next one. And I will be thankful. I will be thankful. Is that the last one? You can remember right now? Yeah. Yeah. So what we do is we teach the kids um, and to do those regularly. So they have to do them when they come into the gym, when they leave the gym. And then um, for myself, on days like today, it's crucial that I constantly are just feeding myself with those positive affirmations. Now, these are very simplistic, um, but they work really well. And, and, and again, it really helps to say them out loud, articulate them. Sometimes it even helps people to um, say them in a mirror um, back to themselves, looking themselves in the eyes. Um, because it is one of those things the way what you speak um, you will believe and and it will come out in your actions and so um, no you can't say or speak the fact you know that I whatever you can't you know make it very dramatic I want a million dollars and then the million dollars <laughs> is going to appear right before you there's work and engagement involved but the um, the words that come out of your mouth and into back regurgitate back through your ears um, definitely play a huge part in your actions and so these are good things to teach your children as well because life is always going to throw curveballs at you no matter what and again the same thing with diagnostics you're going to have days where you just don't feel an insanely amazing where you can you know kick back into the, the level of fatigue and that I experienced before I got into diagnostics and um, but now you know how to work through those and it's pretty amazing okay that's all I've got for tonight and uh, peace out